backstage at UFC 168 in the medical tents with Travis Brown. Travis, fantastic finish. Walk us through that. Yeah, you know, we, uh, we knew he was going to come in and try to grab me, and it's exactly what he did. Um, people really underestimate my entire game. They look at me as a striker. I finish this guy just, you know, standing up and in the clinch and stuff. But, uh, you know, I have a complete game. Um, am I the best? Obviously not. You know, there's Verdum ahead of me, there's Kane ahead of him, and um, I'm just working my way up the ladder, you know. Uh, those guys are better than me right now. I have to get back in the gym and work on my game and continue to progress in this sport. But Josh Barnett is quite a veteran, and he's got a long roster of wins um, over tough guys. Do you feel like that's the win you needed to propel you to get even closer to that title? You know, I'm happy to be fighting, and I'm happy to fight, be fighting top com uh, competition. You know, I think uh, out of the sport, besides maybe Junior and Kane, I think I have the best pedigree right now, knocking off some of the toughest fighters. Um, you know, and, and uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, that's, this is my path. And my path was chosen for me, and I'm just dictating, you know, whether I turn right or left. Dana said that he wanted whoever won the fight between you and Josh to take on Verdum. Do you think that's going to happen? I hope so. There's no sense in him waiting a year and a half for a title shot. Let's, let's, let's go fight and really make that number one contender.